Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my daily broadcast, an earlier one than usual because it is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Uh, this is episode number 910. I'm going to speak about Thanksgiving, in particular about gratitude. Gratitude is something not just for one day, and it's not just for the good stuff. And explain what I mean and also give you a little hint about how to have more fun. So before I jump into the topic in hand, let me introduce myself in case you haven't seen my broadcast before because you don't normally see me this time of day. Um, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, book for singles and couples, men and women. Good book, I recommend it highly. Hi, Mary, nice to see you. Happy Gratitude Day to you too. Um, I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what informed, what informed my work, but also what started these talks, inspired these talks, promoted these talks, <laughs> more than that, almost three years ago after the election actually in 2016, but I'm not gonna get to that. Um, and they started out as messages from the masculine, inspiring your feminine heart. And today we're episode number 900 and, uh, 910, because it is almost three years. Um, and this is my daily, top, daily talk, by the way. So if you haven't seen me do this before, I'll tell you at the back end where you watch the replay so you can catch all of my previous talks, if you so desire. So again, today's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends and all my friends in America, because a lot of us in America aren't from here. I'm one of them. Like going home for Thanksgiving would make, no, would make no sense to me because there's nothing going on for Thanksgiving in England, you know? So this is an American specific topic. Scott, sorry, an American specific day, but not an American specific topic. So gratitude, it's a big topic. Um, and talks about it quite often actually. But because today is happy Thanksgiving, being a day for giving thanks, it's seen apropos to talk about that. So first of all, as I mentioned, Gratitude is not just for one day, like, duh. <laughs> you don't save up the whole year to be grateful just on Thanksgiving. But it's like an emphasis, an extra special day, a, ref a refinement or an encouragement to be particularly focused on gratitude today. Now, if you're busy fighting the airlines and traveling right now and you haven't got to where you're going, you might not feel like gratitude. But if you're on your way to where you're going, be grateful that you're on your way. And that's actually just been the second part about things that don't go the way you planned. So speaking about gratitude every day, Something I recommended highly, and talked about it a while ago, is to keep some sort of gratitude um, document, whether it's a journal or a gratitude jar or a gratitude practice, something that you practice gratitude with every day of the, every day of the week, every day of the year. Because what happens is you start to accumulate an experience of gratitude that is impactful. And I've said before, I, have, I keep a gratitude jar myself, and in fact, I have a prop, which is my gratitude jar. This is my gratitude jar right here, but on camera you can see it, see gratitude. This is basically since January 1st. I've been keeping, um, I put in here at the end of the day, three things I'm grateful for every single day. So at the end of the year, I've got over a thousand. It's that easy. And I'm speaking in a moment about how it can be easy um, to keep accumulating gratitude. So this is gonna go to the end of the year. And at the end of the year, I'm, I'm planning on doing this. We'll see if it happens. Is get them all out and like look at them all and just, just have a, a, a sense, an immersion into so much gratitude that I have because a thousand pieces of paper have impact, you know? So being um, being grateful is kind of a trick, is, is a trick, no repeats. Um, meaning no repeats of what things I'm grateful for. There may be some repeats in there, not intentionally, but I might be saying something about something grateful for today, which happened, something happened like that two months ago. So there might be repeats that way, but not intentionally, no. Ideally, it's things I'm grateful for in the moment. I'll just by the way the thing. When you're doing a gratitude journal, a gratitude jar, or come out of the gratitude device, my invitation to you is to keep at least three things to write down. Now, you just say do it at the end of the day because you can reflect on your day and and to um, review your day. And quite often those three things might be different, but then sometimes they're the same thing. Maybe one of the things you go to is you get up on time every day. So you might be grateful for that every single day until you get you go for something else. Again, if you only have to do three things, it's oftentimes they'll switch around. You might be grateful for the food you had, grateful for the fact you can get up off the bed off the bed and breathe. The range of things you'd be grateful for is massive. So if you can't find th three things to be grateful for, look deeper. So that's one thing. The other side of the piece I want to talk to for a moment is about the things that aren't always so good. Because the thing is, sometimes people say, well, you know, everything went bad today, so I can't be grateful. I, I disagree. One, because the fact you got through wherever it was is something you'd be grateful for. Secondly, and I'm looking as a review of past history, to look at my life and go, okay, certain things in my life didn't go well, they sucked, this was bad, whatever it was, but I'm happy where I am in my life now. 
puts you in a position where you can look back at your life and be grateful for all of it. Because if you cannot be grateful for your life, sorry, excuse me, if you're grateful for your life as it is now, or where you're going and what you're doing, then everything that came before got you here. So why would you not be grateful for everything? So my encouragement is to look at everything in your life that has happened that you can label as good, bad, or indifferent and see what you can be grateful for on all those levels. That's an exploration I invite you to look into as an assignment, as a homework assignment, so to speak. Not sorry today, because that day's Thanksgiving, you go and have turkey, whatever, and do your thing. But I want to make sure you get this point. Hey, Brian, good to see you, my brother. Happy Thanksgiving to you and to Heidi. Good to see you, my friend. I haven't seen you at Gabby for a while. We should catch up one of these days. Um, and thank you for the love. So gratitude is not just one day a year, and it's not just for the good stuff. So that was kind of my point, but I want to break it down a bit further. Because if you have gratitude, it opens doors. And this is the reason why I'm talking about gratitude this way. It's not just, okay, let's be grateful for the turkey, say grace, eat and enjoy yourself, and then pig out and fall asleep. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm speaking about gratitude as a way of life. So again, not just one day, the whole year. Can you look at the life you're living through the lens of gratitude? Can you look at life in particular, your relationships, whether it's your primary romantic relationship, or if you're single, maybe you want to be grateful for that, just saying, or your family dynamics, or your children, if you have children, or your employment. Can you be grateful for everything in your life so that you can actually enjoy life more easily? There's a, there's a, there's, there are certain teachings, framings, phrasings out there about when you're grateful, life gets better. Or when you're grateful, life expands. What you focus on gets more. So if you're grateful for certain things, it's like planting seeds. If you're grateful for that seed, it will blossom more easily. That's what I've heard and I've seen on instances. So my encouragement to you is look at what it is you want to, want to increase in your life. Maybe you want to be grateful for the, for the little glimpse you had of something that you want to do that hasn't actually shown up yet. Because again, focusing on that expands it. It's one of those spiritual principles. You have to do talk about spiritual stuff occasionally. <laughs> And gratitude is such a key. I mean, in, in my, um, um, it's, a, it's a plug for one of my offerings. I'll put a couple of links in the comments because I want to always promote stuff. But I'm putting a link in the comments for my self-love med self guided meditation because the second one, because there's an AM meditation, a PM meditation. The PM meditation has a gratitude practice in it because the idea being is you, you bookend the day with you open up with gratitude with intention. Excuse me, you open up self-love with intention. I think it's right. So you start the day with that and then you end the day with self-love and gratitude. That's bookending the day. So yes, um, a little bonus piece. Set your intentions at the beginning of the day, by the way. That's another piece you can do every day. So gratitude to end the day, intention to begin the day. Frame, if you bookend your day that way, your days will start changing. Now that's something you can do any way you want, any time you want, without any um, tools. You can just do it on your own. You know, just wake up in the morning before you get out of bed and go, what are my intentions today? Do I want to have more connection? Do I want to have more love? Do I want to be more connected? Do you, you know, those sort of things. Set your intention at the beginning of the day, and at the end of the day, you can write down gratitude. It may not match the same things. You may be grateful for something totally different. Or then again, you might be saying, you know what? I'm grateful because I had more connections today than I expected. Or I'm grateful because I had more joy today than I've had before. Whatever that is for you. But put something down in intention. Again, journal or, as I said before, you know, gratitude jar. Something like that that will actually assist you in anchoring the state. And when you anchor positive states, it will change your... Um, paradigm is going to be you use, but something like that, where you'll change your focus point for what you want to have. And my, my, my encouragement to you is to look at ways of doing that. Now, I'm going to also let you know now, but I'll mention it at the back end as well. Um, I am offering over the holidays, I'm not doing a Black Friday sale, I'm not into that sort of stuff, although I might shop, but I am encouraging you to reach out if you want to get a single session of coaching. I'm, I'm offering over this weekend, particularly because it's a holiday weekend, because sometimes people go through stress and stuff, um, a holiday single coaching session. So if you're stuck in this area about gratitude and intention, grab one of those, grab that for yourself as well. Anyway, so back to the teaching, and I'll mention more about it in a moment. So when you're with your family today, if it's Thanksgiving, you're going to spend time with your family. Even if it's the family that's most challenging to you, can you see gratitude in the, in the cracks? Can you be thankful for the fact that you have a family you come from? Can you have gratitude, can you have gratitude for what you've become since, you, since you've expanded beyond the family dynamic you were born into, if that's what you need to do? Or can you be thankful for your family that's so amazing because you love them so dearly? It's up to you. But having gratitude in all sorts of situations, the good, the bad, and the indifferent, I won't say the ugly, the indifferent, gives you opportunities to expand the goodness that comes into your life. I'll say it that way. So gratitude begets goodness. That's a good quote. That's a, that's a quotable if you can use for me. 
because when you're grateful, more goodness happens. So this understanding can shift your polarity, your, your polarity, can shift your perspective throughout your life. So I'm going to give you a homework assignment because it's only a month away, just over a month away till Christmas, less than a month now. Wow. So my, my invitation to you, my encouragement to you as homework is can you, if you haven't done it before, from today through Christmas Day, that's just a framing. Can you be grateful every day? And can you set an intention every day for what you want to have? So your homework, just to re, 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 um, repeat it, is can you set an intention every single day from now through Thanksgiving, excuse me, that from now Thanksgiving through Christmas of what you want to create, what you want to have, what you want to be? And just see what happens. Not like do anything necessarily, unless you're encouraged to do something because you just tap in inside. But clarify an intention that ideally comes from your heart, not from your head. Connect deeper and connect into your real vibrational frequency. What do you want to intend each day? First thing in the morning is ideal. If you can, if you forget, do it as soon as you remember. Do it during the day through the whole month. And then secondarily, the main focus of this talk is can are you willing to write down, document three things you're grateful for every single day from today through to Christmas? That's my encouragement and my invitation to you to take that on as a challenge. And again, if you feel like you're stuck, you're not sure what to work with, uh, message me. I don't have a link for this, but just message me. And I'll put a link. I'll put a note in the comments to message me if you want to grab a single coaching session over the weekend. I'm giving this as a as a single because normally coaching with me is three months or six month commitment. But I'm offering a single coaching session. Yes, you're going to pay for it because you're going to invest in your journey and invest in your growth. So I'll put a link in the com I'll put a reminder in the comments. You can reach out to me for a session if you want to message me over social media. And I'll put a link. I won't put, I have a link for it because I don't have a page for it. It'll be um, messaging and then a PayPal. It, it, anyway. It's very manual, but that's what I'm gonna say. So that's one thing I wanna recommend. I will put in the comments also my self-love meditation because in it is a meditation practice that includes gratitude as well. So that's a little plug for that. Um, I think that's gonna be it. I'm trying to think there's anything else I wanna speak about right now. Self-love meditation, support yourself. I think you got my message. <laughs> I'll see if there's anything else I wanna cover. I'm like, no, cover that, cover that, cover that, I'm good. So, if you haven't already feasted today, go out and enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I will be back in tomorrow. By the, oh yeah, we'll tell you about replays, by the way. Uh, I'll back in my normal time tomorrow. Yes, normal time tomorrow. I'm just playing my day. Um, next week might be different. I've got some things I'm going to be doing at five o'clock, so I might be changing my time. So let me give you where you can find me if you haven't seen my broadcast before. So again, there'll be links in the comments. One for my self-love meditation and, uh, and a reminder to connect over to social media to me if you want to get one of my coaching sessions this weekend. You can use it next week if you want, but you can book it before the weekend because that is the only thing I'm, available. I'm offering through Sunday. Um, so, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, hi, nice to meet you. Um, normally it's 5 p.m. Pacific time, so you may be catching me a different time of day today because it's earlier than usual because I'm going to be feasting at five o'clock today. That's why I'm doing it early for myself. This is my daily talk that I do every day at 5 p.m. on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. You haven't seen me there. Please watch me there if you want to catch me live. The replays are on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. Um, you can like my page and you can watch them there. But I have a better solution because Facebook's not been holding on my broadcasts captive in that place. So if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby as well. My social media is pretty much Barry Selby. Um, except Instagram, which is the real Barry Selby. If you know that story, you, you can, yeah, I'll tell you about it another time. But if you go to um, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, that's my channel and on there is a, you can subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all of these live from newest to oldest. You can scan through, find ones that speak to you and enjoy lessons, teachings, inspiration from my talks. So with that, I thank you for watching. Again, links be in the comments, please check them out. And I do invite you to enjoy Thanksgiving, whether you're a turkey eater or a pescatarian or a vegetarian or a vegan, whatever it is. If you're not in this country, you don't even have to worry about it because it's just regular Thursday for you. But if you're in America, happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you again tomorrow. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.